Hello, I haven't got much time, so let's get on with it. Come on. Another vacuum cleaner. Ooh, what a surprise, what a surprise. I'm a little bit full of cold, so you'll have to excuse my nasally delivery. <coughs> and my phlegmy performance, but anyway. A little cold isn't going to stop me from unwrapping this vacuum cleaner. In the original box, it's a model, Hoover model, 417G. And by the looks of it, it's come from Shrewsbury. Right, there we go. So, here it is, the original box. It's one of these, a cylinder, old-fashioned metal-bodied cylinder with a tool kit, stretch hose, made, ah, made in the Scottish factory of Hoover Limited, it says there. Perivale, Greenford, Middlesex, England. Well, Perivale, Greenford, of course, is Hoover's head office address, but it was actually made by the looks in, I expect, Cambus Lang, I'm not sure. There might have been another Scottish factory before the Cambus Lang plant. But this was made in Scotland. Mm -mm. Is there anything else to show you on the box? Not really. So I'm not sure what this is going to be like. It's got a bit of rust to it. I'm just hoping it will just have a bit of a clean up and it'll be okay. Oh, it's dirty, dirty. Oh, it's worse. Worse than the picture looked, but anyway. Here's the, uh, ah, I wonder if that's not Hoover. Mmm. I don't know if this is uh, the original hose because there's no Hoover branding on the clip here. Yes, that's possibly not the looks. Yeah, there's no Hoover branding on the, the cuff there either. It might be a, an original, but I'm not sure. So there's the hose. Oh, at least they've tried to protect, <laughs> tried to protect the cleaner. Here is your main carpet and floor nozzle. Not in that bad condition. Well, that's a little bit uh, distorted. So here we have, with a floating brush, you can lock it on setting two for hard floors. Setting one is the floating position for your carpets. That isn't too bad, I suppose. We'll, we'll clean up quite well. well. It's very worn, the little uh, red teeth at the front, you can hardly see them. Very worn down. So that's that. <clears throat> I'm assuming all the bits in here should be complete, the toolkit. That's a little bit stiff. That needs to be, see the pip fitting, it needs turning. But well, I'm not going to force it, and that's a little bit distorted. But all this should clean up okay. That's the Hoover's dusting brush. Um, crevice tool. The pip is intact. There. They can often wear off those. That looks in reasonable condition. Hot soapy water and a bit of a polish will help that. One of the extension tubes. Now you see again, this isn't branded with any Hoover, so it might be a genuine Hoover log, uh, tool, Hoover tube, but the ones I've had in the past have actually got Hoover stamped on them. But they might not have done that early on. It does look, probably looks genuine. So that's one. And here's the other one. Again, hot soapy water, a bit of polish, and that will improve the looks of that. And I think this is the last tool, so it is a complete tool set, the classic tool set. Here's the Hoover all-purpose nozzle with the little rubber teeth. So that all looks okie dokie. Again, just needs a clean. So here we have the vacuum itself in Swedish Swedish green and smoked pine, I believe that colour's called. Um, that's it, nothing else in there. Let's 
have a look at it. Right, it's got the blowing function. We can attach the hose to the blowing end if you want to blow out some dust, either to unclog the hose or to blow out dust from inaccessible places. Got your carry strap here, so that's all intact. Little red toggle switch, seems okay. And we've just got, it's very plain on this side. It's not that bad. You know, it's not a lot I can do about the rust on it, apart from respray it and I don't really want to do that. We've got the Hoover Hoover logo there. What else? Let's have a look. See underneath. It's in, you know, it's not in bad condition. I'm no no idea how old this is. We might get a clue from the rating plate. Very basic cylinder model. No wheels, just these little skids. Four skids here. So here's the rating plate for you. Now all that is back to front and upside down to me. The Hoover model 417G cleaner, that's about all I can read. So, <clears throat> double insulated. 230 to 250 volts, 510 watts, rating 9. Now here's the serial number. Four eight oh CB four eight seven six zero oh, nine. Protected by trademarks in Great Britain and the principal countries of the world. Made by Hoover Limited, Great Britain. That looks it. That all the hinge. That hinge looks almost like it was fitted yesterday. Look at that. I mean, I think it's original. That does look very very new, doesn't it? Doesn't look like a replacement. And there's the suction end. And this little catch here is obviously what we need to release to access the bag. It should have a cloth bag inside. I believe you can still buy the paper bags for this. So let's open it up. Look at that. Oh, quality. Quality. Is that metal? It's hard to tell. No, I'm not sure. I think that's plastic. The end is plastic too. So yes, it's got the cloth bag, which I'll be eek, giving a good clean out. Look at that, folks. Ooh, that's somebody's skin cells in there. I might be breathing in the remains of someone who's long, long since passed away. I'm not sure if there's any sort of filter. Oh, there is a felt filter in here. Oh, I'll show you it. Oh, and it's quite see. There is a felt filter which I might be able to lightly hand wash. Just try and get it out. It's sort of it's coming back to me. I had one of these years and years ago, but it was very battered. It was for my school. They used used it in the woodworking class. Now, ooh, that'll benefit from a clean. If I can't get a genuine replacement, I'm sure I can get something similar, but that might. I'll vacuum it first and then hand wash that carefully. Yuck, ugh, dirt. And, hello. Oh, it's all looking very filthy. Under there is the motor. Anyway, I'll just pop the, um, Let's pop the filter back because I will switch this on briefly. This is a very quick vid. I haven't got much time today. But I will be featuring this again. I've got a couple of ideas for this machine. I did want to get um, a sort of vintage cylinder model for an idea I've got for a video. But of course I will be doing a test with it. I don't think it's going to perform very well to be honest. So the cable, I, I think the cable's probably original. Again, it's dirty, but this cable will clean up nicely. Doesn't look like it's damaged. It's very tangled up. Um, 
I'm not sure if that would have been the original plug that they put on when it was new, but it's made in England, that plug. They seem to be made in China nowadays. If you want to buy a 13 amp plug to fit an old appliance or to replace a plug on a newer appliance, very short flex, very short. Now, because this is metal, there's something about metal bodied vacuums that, you know, mm, sets me on edge. So I'll just place it there and <clears throat> I'm going to switch it on at the wall socket and see if it turns on. Right, it hasn't. Not getting a shock. It might spew out a lot of muck from the back of there, so let's direct it towards the box. Right, <clears throat> here goes. Whew. Well, it sounds, well, it's very, very quiet. Um, does anyone know, does that, is that, is that how it's supposed to sound? It sounds like it's running slow, but of course I'm used to vacuums with quite high-pitched motors. There's no, poof, there's no um, <clears throat> smell as such. No sort of burning electrical smell. I'm just imagining using this machine, putting down my regular bag of filth. I don't think it's going to do much to that. It's not going to worry the bag of filth, this cleaner, somehow. I'm handling it, but it is, it's plugged in, but it's not switched on. That socket. Um, oh, that's not going in. That hose, that tube isn't uh, wanting to go in. Let's try this one. Oh, why won't that go in? Oops. Oh, muck's coming out of it. Oh dear me, well that will go in, round to guess that goes in, whoops a daisy, and this should go in, or oh, does it, yes it does, just, there we are, so that's just having trouble getting a tube, for some, oh there we are, just need a little bit of a, a doobie, you know, a bit of a, a push, well here it is, I think it'll, it'll clean up quite well, so here we go, that's the uh, Hoover model, I've, I've forgotten, is it 417G? 417G cleaner. Put some uh, bit of tissue paper there. That's not, yeah, it's not too bad, I suppose. Let's uh, give it another go. Have it on for more than a few seconds. <laughs> then. Oh. I'm always worried, always worried about these old cleaners. It's only, you know, fairly recently that I've started buying very old vacuums. But even some of the new ones I've bought, newish, brand new, sometimes they haven't been very good. So anyway, it's... I don't think I'm going to do a proper sort of strip down of this. I don't know. I'm not really expert enough to be taking the motor apart and everything. It will get a rudimentary clean. All the tools will be thoroughly cleaned. The cleaner itself. I'll polish it up as best I can. It will look better than this when I finish with it. The, of course the um, cord will be all clean. I'll clean the filter or replace it clean the dust bag and actually put in a paper bag because they are designed, you can use them just with the cloth bag but they do a paper bag that fits I'm pretty sure I can still get paper bags for this so I think the suction would be improved actually once this is clean, once the filter's clean I think I'll get a bit more suck out of it because at the moment it's uh, 
well barely sort of the suction of a Hoover Junior. Obviously it's a vintage machine. I'm not and I wasn't and I didn't get a lot of suction out of this but anyway I think it was only £20. I'm quite happy for £20 to have a vintage vacuum. In my early days of collecting I didn't really go for many cylinder cleaners. I had a Hoover Harlequin in very good condition. I sold it. A little bit more deluxe version of this. But um, I had Constellations of course. The most iconic Hoover suction cleaner. But this, this was a basic machine. Very basic really. For those people that couldn't really run to the Constellation when that came out. It's a bit, a bit posh. Oh, can't get that in again. It's uh, oh well. Let's leave you with that with that shot. <clears throat> get rid of that. Doesn't look very nice. I'll leave you with that. <clears throat> and put the tools there. So there we go. That's a quick unboxing for you today of this vintage Hoover cylinder vacuum cleaner. This will be appearing again. I will be doing a bit more of a detailed video for you with a performance demonstration and uh, I'm hoping, just got a little idea in my head, I won't tell you what it is yet in case it doesn't happen but I have a little idea of something else I want to use this machine in and another little video which hopefully you will enjoy. So thanks for watching, don't forget please subscribe, please thumbs up, you know it does help if you give me a thumbs up if you like the video because uh, it spurs me on to make more and more videos for you. If you don't really like vintage vacuum cleaners don't worry because there are plenty of newer machines also coming up on my channel in the near future. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.